I would like for you guys to help me welcome a very talented young lady. She's on the best sellers authors list right now. Please put your hands together for Mara Altman. him while I peed. <laughs> My parents are so open about their love life to the point it can be uucomfortable. Like one time when I was visiting, my mom asked me to go to the store to get some staples like bread, milk and lube. I was like, really mom, lube? She looked at me at that face. She's like, you know your father <laughs> loves to crush pussy. <laughs> My first boyfriend actually refused to have sex with me. I found out at my high school reunion 10 years later that after he'd spend the night, my dad had been slipping him condoms at the breakfast table. Yeah, high school kids don't want what they can have. It makes them skeptical. He's like, if I'm allowed to have this pussy, it must not be good pussy. <laughs> I ended up writing a book about uh, trying to have an orgasm. And the most awkward part of the whole thing was correcting the book proofs with my agent. He's this like tall, white, uptight, waspy guy. And we're sitting there across the desk from one another. He's like, okay, Mara. I want you to turn to page 42. Second paragraph down. The sentence, itty bitty titties. Smaller than a toddler's handful. Comma after titties. Okay. Moving right along, page 95, third paragraph down, feel awkward with a dude licking my butthole. Are you following me? Yeah. Semicolon after butthole. Um, you know, my mom continues to tell me too much. Like just the other day on the phone, she's like, you know when you have so much sex you get urinary tract infections? And I was like, Oh. But then another part of me started to feel insecure. I was like, why am I not getting urinary tract infections? <laughs> Have I been doing sex wrong? You know, I kind of suck at dirty talk. Like the last time I tried was more than like a year ago and it caused an existential crisis. See, what happened was I thought it would be hot to pre-coitally anthropomorphize my vagina. <laughs> so I was like, girl, this is awesome. Let's go sex. <laughs> my husband was like, why does your vagina sound like a man? <laughs> I'm like, I don't know. I guess it's a dude. <laughs> Like, it can't be a dude because my penis isn't gay. I was like, well, I don't know what to tell you. Apparently you've been fucking a male vagina for five years. <laughs> so, you know, when my mom said that thing about the infections, I got a little competitive. I was like, I can do this. <laughs> so the last time me and my husband had sex, I tried to let go a little more. I was like, give it to me. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> I like it like that. Give me a UTI in my pussy. <laughs> Do it like you want to make my pee burn. <laughs> then his dick got soft. <laughs> Thank you.